Hey y'all, it's Lonnie and welcome back to my channel, The Homeschool Help Me, where I help families transition to homeschool and overcome their homeschool struggles. We are in our 10 part series, two minute tips for the emergency homeschooler. Today's tip is to have a designated work area or designated work areas. So in our homeschool, we have a couple of areas that we really like to work in, and those are the areas that we use for school. It's important to have a designated area because then your child gets in that mindset of it is time for school or time for learning or whatever it is that you have them doing. If you don't set a designated area, number one, all the school supplies and stuff is going to be like, all over the place <laughs> and then number two your child may not be trained enough at this point to know when to engage in their academic activity so having that set location or a couple of locations will help them get into that mode two that will also help you as a newly homeschooling parent recognize when your child is working if they are laying in their bed and doing their work and that is not what they normally do they might fall asleep. They might, <laughs> that might not work out. But I want you to make sure you have at least one place in your house where your kids are comfortable and that they can get engaged and complete their assignments. All right, quick, easy tip that you can implement right now as soon as you get done with this video. But don't implement it before you hit that thumbs up button and go ahead and make sure you hit subscribe and I will see you in our next video. Bye.